You're listening to Morgan Freeman Musings. This is not Morgan Freeman. This is somebody pretending to be Morgan Freeman. Or Morton Freeman, Morgan Freeman's cousin, who didn't become an actor, who chose a simpler life, but nonetheless sounds somewhat like Morgan Freeman. Our time on Earth is limited. What we are able to do what we are able to accomplish. We overestimate what we can accomplish in a year and we underestimate what we can accomplish in a decade. Time will pass. Time would have passed whether I chose to pursue acting or not, work on my voice or not. That is the nature of time. It passes with or without us. So we must endeavor to do what we can while we're here. That could be doing one push-up before you get in the shower. It could be a set of body weight squats before you decide to brush your teeth. It could be brushing your teeth with the opposite hand to work on neuroplasticity. These are certain musings I have things I think about as the world gets more and more chaotic. Fires in Hawaii. Earthquakes in Marrakesh. Floods in Libya. War in Ukraine. Over a half a million unhoused Americans in what we consider ostensibly the greatest country on earth. I would say of those half a million, maybe 1% are unhoused by choice. Some children enjoy sleeping outside and camping. But I would say the rest most likely want a room of their own, a bed, a bathroom, a sink, a shower, and or a bathtub. Sometimes a bathtub is necessary if you are susceptible to muscle cramps and you need to get into a hot tub to soak your muscles so that they loosen up and the cramping subsides. Is it too much to ask in the greatest nation on earth that everybody have a room of their own with a door? and a lock, and safety, a window to the outside, a view of some kind, fresh air, clean air, clean water, access to healthy foods, and then work if they want it. I think to some degree, everyone should be provided the opportunity to do some work of some kind if they choose. If everything else is provided, then most likely people will choose what they want to do as opposed to what they feel like they should do. If you don't have to worry about rent, food, water, clothing, hospitalization, then maybe we would be drawn to our bliss to find our bliss, but more importantly, that people find a way to do what they love doing, and by doing so, will become more productive members of society. Ultimately, everyone will be drawn to what they are capable of doing and enjoy doing, whether it's brain surgery or sweeping streets, making bread, being a nurse, whatever it is that you can help to be of service. Our goal should be to eliminate scarcity and hunger and poverty. You've been listening to Morton William, Morton Freeman Musings, again under a minute, five minutes.